distance. You can run the mile. You can walk straight through hell with a smile. Team of firsts follows the story of the 2012 Southern Oregon University football team that made a run to the NAIA quarterfinals. Obviously this year was a big year for um, the Southern Oregon football team with uh, a lot of records broken offensively and um, this year was a big turnaround for them and it only seemed fitting that for our first feature film that we make something about the football program. The production group Dose of Dopeness decided to show what this small college football team means to its players, coaches, and community. And we wanted to take this season and profile the season while also profiling why small college football is so important and why um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the Oregon Ducks and 72 uniforms for football to be important to people. What also makes this story fun is it's about players that Matt says not too many other schools wanted playing for a program no one outside of this region really paid attention to. It's a redemption story, a program that has been in the dumps recently as far as uh, win-loss. All the players from the team are all guys who are kind of rejects. None of them were really recruited, I mean, at least big recruiting. Some of them uh, just kind of came up here. And all of a sudden, all these guys who nobody wanted, now all of a sudden are all these record holders and they lead the nation in all these statistical categories. And in getting this film on the big screen, Matt and his production team hope to prove the story didn't end on the field, but is living on. And it's eight guys who took those same lessons that they learned through football and applying it to video and hopefully making something that can connect with the audience to something that uh, the program and the department and the school can universally be proud of. Matt wants to enter this movie into some film festivals. Perhaps then, ironically, more people will want to watch next year's action live rather than wait for the video. In Ashland, Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News.